Nude Sticks really has had a rough 2020, and they only have themselves to blame. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a deep dive on Nude Sticks, the brand that sprang seemingly out of nowhere, but has had some controversial moments, especially this year. So who is the CEO of Nude Sticks? How did it come about? And what controversies were brewing within the brand and what resulted? Let's dive on in. Nude Sticks is, think of Crayola meet Chanel. Think of pens and pencils for the face, the lips, and the eyes. And the cheeks. Being in the industry for over 20 years and a chemical engineer, I've been formulating cosmetics for a really long time. Ali and Taylor really look at beauty very differently than my previous generation. It's about less is more makeup, so we decided to come out with Nude, Nude Sticks. Sticks. The CEO of Nude Sticks is cosmetics expert Jenny Frankel. Jenny was a chemical engineer who graduated from the University of Toronto and immediately set to work in the cosmetics industry. She's most known for inventing MAC Lip Gloss, which is an incredibly popular product that really set her apart as an expert in the industry. After working as a product developer for MAC from 1995 to 1998, Jenny left to co-found the cosmetics brand CoverFX where she worked as the executive VP until her retirement in 2011. And this is where the story goes that while Jenny was enjoying her retirement, her daughters weren't enjoying the makeup products that were available to them. Now, keep in mind, this was 2011. Kim Kardashian S makeup was all the rage, and speaking as someone who liked that type of makeup back in the day, it was a bit of work. But Jenny's daughters, Taylor and Allie, didn't want anything that took more than five minutes every day. They, being teens, would rather sleep in than put on all the products necessary to create that kind of look. So Jenny sought to create products that were the swipe and go type in stick form, and thus, Nude Sticks was born. This is what we call real life makeup. You're busy, you're getting the kids out the doors, you're making breakfast, you're making lunch, you're catching the bus. Every product comes in this tin, and you have your mirror, you have your pencil, and a sharpener, which is so awesome because how many of us lose our sharpeners all the time? They're free of preservatives, parabens, gluten, cruelty-free, and vegan. So remember, go nude, but better. Given Jenny's background in cosmetics, she had plenty of connections to get her brand off the ground. And Nude Sticks quickly took off. It launched in the US in spring 2014 at Space NK and in Sephora at 2015. From there, it became a hugely popular brand as the beauty space tended to trend to more easier put together looks. When a new brand launches in an already overcrowded space, it needs to stand out. Nude Sticks did so with their tin packaging that came with every product. And Nude Sticks had a promise. They were 100% vegan and cruelty free. As consumers become more aware of their impact on the environment, it would only make sense for brands to catch on with this trend as well. In an article by Fashion Magazine dated November 19, author Sydney Oliver notes Nude Sticks as one of the six vegan beauty brands to know now, writing, Nude Sticks is another Canadian brand doing right by the environment and animals. The buzzy, millennial-focused brand is the work of Jenny, Taylor, and Allie Frankel, and is 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and its multi-use products are formulated without parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. Plus, each product is tested by dermatologists and ophthalmologists to ensure they're safe for sensitive skin and eyes. Remember that. That'll be important in a bit. So a lot of you were messaging me asking about this whole nude sticks not being vegan thing, especially with their new launch. It's their product called the Magnetic Lip Plush Paints, and it has an ingredient called propolis extract. So in this video, I'm just going to dive in what propolis extract is and whether it's vegan or not, and just some overall thoughts on the situation. In early 2020, Nude Sticks launched their Magnetic Lip Plush Paints. It's a cute product that is designed to be used on the lips and the cheeks. What should have been a successful launch, however, was marred when customers took a look at the ingredients. 
McKenna, a YouTuber and cosmetics chemist, was quick to point out that while Nude Sticks was labeling the product as vegan, it contained propolis and carmine. If you're not familiar, both ingredients are animal-derived. Propolis is bee-derived, and carmine is beetle-derived. So, not vegan. It's also worth pointing out that by labeling the product as vegan, it can put consumers at risk. Many are allergic to bees and bee-derived products, so it's important for them to know what the ingredients are, whether or not they are vegan. Customers also pointed out that Nude Sticks Cream Lip and Cheek Pencil contained Sarah Alba, which is another term for beeswax. So it seemed as if Nude Sticks was trying to shake the 100% vegan label and just not tell anyone? But customers tend to like to know what's in their products. And so the backtracking began. People notice that Nude Sticks website now says that they have vegan options rather than what it previously said, being 100% vegan. This new and unannounced change brought attention back to the Magnetic Lip plush paints, and the story kept on changing. First, in responding to comments, Jenny Frankel claimed that the propolis used was a soy-derived extract, which is fine if it is, but again, soy can be an allergen and it should be listed as an ingredient. Then they updated their website to say that propolis is extracted from plant bud resin and tree bud resin, which is true, but it's extracted by bees and mixed with bee saliva. So again, it's not a vegan product and it can cause allergies for many people. At this point, both Jenny and the company's Instagram were responding to consumers. Only this time, they painted nude sticks as having vegan options, a far cry from the 100% vegan people knew. Despite being repeatedly asked, neither Jenny nor the company would explain the sudden change. The final statement seems to be that every product is different in its own way, which isn't really an answer. Now, I want to point out that there's nothing wrong with nude sticks deciding to reformulate non-vegan products. That's certainly their right. The issue is that people felt tricked and lied to about the sudden change, so if nude sticks had been more transparent from the start, this wouldn't have become the issue that it had been. Anyways, I highly suggest watching Kenna's video about the subject because she's a scientist and I am not. And we have over 135 different products of nudes wow. between lips, <laughs> eyes, and face products. Oh, I love it. So um, there's a nude for everyone, and that's something that you know we study, and that's something that we're committed to, making sure that there's nudes for everyone. Yeah. In an interview with Closet back in March of 2020, Jenny touts her company's push for diversity, saying, Nude Sticks is a global brand, and when we create a product, we think about all skin tones, all ages, all sexes and all skin types. It's really important as a human to have that. It would be easy to believe her, but in September of this year, Nude Sticks launched their Nude Fix Concealer and the shade range was astonishingly bad. Plenty of consumers and influencers called the brand out asking to expand the shade range, but were ignored. Launches like these are incredibly disappointing when you consider how active Nude Sticks was back in June when the Black Lives Matter movement was starting to gain traction among corporations. They pledged donations and scholarships to uplift women of color in the industry, and to launch a face product with a pathetic shade range makes all of their previous actions seem performative at best. I also want to quickly touch on a photo that circulates the internet every now and again of the two Frankel sisters wearing MAGA hats standing in front of the Trump Hotel. Now, I actually criticized them for this in a poking fun at them way in one of my Sephora videos, but looking back on that, I really regret that because it would look from the video that it was only the two teenagers and not Jenny Frankel. So making fun of teenagers is not really something that I want to do on my channel. I don't agree with their potential opinion, who they may or may not side with politically, but making fun of teenagers is off limits. 
So if it were Jenny who was wearing the hat in front of the hotel, it would be different. But because these two were underage, I just don't feel comfortable speaking about that. And it did appear that both Taylor and Allie don't consider themselves to be fans of the Trump administration. This brings us to where Nude Sticks is today. Since then, Nude Sticks has continued releasing products, mostly limited edition holiday kits that are available at Sephora. Meanwhile, their shade range remains as lackluster as ever. I've said this in my Hourglass deep dive video, but at this point, brands should really know better. If they refuse to catch up with the times and adapt their products to suit multiple skin tones, there are plenty of brands out there who have and continue to do so. And Nude Six as a company may end up getting left behind. But that's where I'm going to end the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and where you think Nude Sticks is heading from here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.